Hi everybody, today I am going to show you my newest toy. This is a Fibonacci gauge or Fibonacci caliper. So you can see that it has three prongs on it and the ratio between these two prongs and these two prongs are, well the ratio stays exactly the same no matter how wide or how narrow I put it. And basically the distance between these two is 1.618 etc etc um, larger than the distance between these two. So you can have a lot of fun with this. You can say measure the, the wings of a butterfly and its upper wings will actually be this distance long, whereas their bottom wings, which are a little bit longer or bigger, will be this distance long. You can also measure the distance between, say, like your eyes and your nose versus your nose and your mouth and see how uh, aesthetically pleasing you are on a universal basis, on a mathematical basis, I guess. And because these ones are so large, I can actually measure my proportions basically from my hip to my waist on a planar level. So I know that uh, many people say that a waist circumference that is 0 0.7 times the circumference of your hips is basically pleasing or healthy, but that takes into account circumference. And as many of you guys know, if you have multiple uh, corsets, you will know that different corsets can give you a different silhouette and can make you look a little bit wider from the profile versus uh, more narrow when you're facing head on, or it can make you more narrow in the profile and make you look a little bit wider. Um, wasp waist silhouettes, it might make you look like you're pinched in a lot more than you actually are because of the almost geometric um, points that it, it makes your waist, as opposed to a more smooth hourglass that just kind of swoops in and back out again. So right now I'm going to do an experiment and I'm going to use these calipers to measure the width of my hips versus the width of my waist right now and see if it is aesthetically uh, perfect. Um, so I'm just going to widen this and I'm going to use the wider distance to measure um, my hips and then keep it at that same distance and see if this measures the width of my waist basically. So I have no mirror in front of me, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to go by feel in this situation. Um, so please forgive me if it doesn't come out absolutely perfectly on camera. So this is the bigger distance here. So um, just kind of trying to get it to match up with my hips here. I believe that is about it. And then take these two points and see if it is about the distance from side to side of my corset. Another thing that you could do, because this is really cool, the distance between, if I, if I hold it like this, the distance between A and B as a ratio from the distance between B and C is the exact same ratio if I were to take the distance between B and C and compare it to the distance between a and C, and that is not true for any ratio or any pair of calipers. Uh, this is true for the Fibonacci sequence, but um, not necessarily for everyone. So this is actually kind of special. <laughs> This would be a different way to set goals for yourself if you're not really interested in um, having a certain circumference for your waist. For me, I think that proportions are a lot more important than absolute measurements because everybody's starting off from a different point. So almost three years ago, I think it was in my very first like waist training introductory video, I was talking about the ratio of phi on a planar level. Or I actually think I said diameter at the time, but basically planar level when you're facing somebody head on. But I didn't go into specific detail about that. So I hope this was a little bit clearer for some of you who are kind of confused about that um, because the ratio 1 to 1.618 is not circumference. It is... Uh, just the distance on, on a planar level. So I'm going to link the eBay seller where I had bought these calipers um, down in the description below if anybody is interested in trying some of the, something like this. Um, it's good for more than just corsets. I love just going around to different things and measuring it because I'm a geek like that. 
So this is just a different way to track your progress if you are less interested in arbitrary numbers and you more care about the proportions of your corseted waist compared to the rest of your body and uh, maybe give you a little bit of insight to how others would uh, see you unconsciously but on a mathematical level. So I hope this video was interesting. I know it's a little bit different to something that I usually do but I just got this and I am having a lot of fun with it so I thought I would just make a really short video about it. And um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.